and we are going to Okay, cool. So, um, awesome. Uh, now I want to talk a little bit about our uh, together in ocean, um, how and how how those things are going. Um, so uh, I, I'm still I'm still making my way through grading everybody's with the issues with um, appliances in my house and stuff this weekend. It, things are a little bit um, I'm a little behind on things, um, but uh, uh, thanks for everybody for getting those in. Um, the ones I've looked at so far look, look um, you guys did a great job for your first stab. So that's really cool. Um, what I want to, what we're going to do next is we're going to start our next one or two things. We're going to start our next uh, case study, one. Two, want to start providing feedback to our fellow students. And so the tool we're going to use for this is this tool called Hypothesis. Um, no, yeah, so that's kind of lame because you guys can, oops, it doesn't look like that for you. Let's see, hold on. Actually, let, let me do this, let me do this. No, 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 that's gonna be too small for you guys. Okay, let me, um, so I'm logged in right now, unfortunately, to my hypothesis, so hold on a second. Let me see if I can log out. Um, okay, so um, have you guys uh, used Hypothesis in your other classes yet? Or how many, how many of you have used Hypothesis in your other classes? Let me look back at my chat. Nick says no, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. Oh, really? Wow, I thought you guys would have been using this by now. Okay. All right, so most people haven't. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. I just I just wanted to get a sense of most of you guys had. Okay, so this is a, a tool that you guys are welcome to use. Um, and it's designed to be a collaborative way to annotate uh, the web, basically. Okay, let me, uh, am I sharing my screen? Am I sharing my screen? Okay. So this is hypothesis. So um, I'll show you guys really quick what it is, and then we'll take a minute. And I want you guys to, to activate your account. Um, and it's a free account with CSUCI. Uh, so this is a, a website. The website is uh, web. And it, it, so it's great when we have these names for things that are very common, right? They're easy to remember. But sometimes when we try to Google them or go find them, right, they're, they're a pain in the butt because um, like everything else in this, under the sun comes up. So just for your own reference, it's web.hypothesis.is. So I'm going to copy this actually right now and toss this in the chat. So that's the website to get to the, um, to the, the initial landing page. Cool. And so um, what you guys are going to do uh, once you have an account, you could just log in. But what, what I want you guys to do is when you come to this site um, is hit get started. And um, the first thing you're going to do is you'll sign up for a free account. So you click this and, and just put your CSUCI email address in and it'll, it'll be free. Uh, and then for maximum utility, uh, I encourage you guys to uh, add one of these, um, the, the, this book marklet that'll work on any browser or if you have Chrome, you can use the Chrome extension, however you want to roll with it. Um, you can also use Hypothesis from within, within Hypothesis itself, the website itself. So, so if, you don't want to, if you don't choose to do one of these things or, or you're on your phone and there's just issues, you can always um, utilize it by going into the Hypothesis website. Um, and so what do we do? Well, with, with this, all we have to do is bring into our, once we're logged in, so we've started an account. So the first time you're going to log in and get that set up. But then after, you know, the first 30 seconds or minute or so after it's logged on, then when you go in, um, you can, uh, again, enter, access this through the, through the browser and you can annotate stuff. You can provide feedback. There's a couple ways to do this. You can do it just for yourself, for, pri for you private studying student. 
Um, you can do it in small groups. You can do it publicly. For our stuff, since we're still figuring this out with regards to Scalar, I'm going to ask you guys to do all your stuff as publicly facing, so so anybody could see it, etc. And that will that should allow folks that generated content in Scalar to to see your comments. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So this is what I mean by that. Okay, so here I just clicked on the first one. This is our our folks doing the um, seaweed and uh, the the mariculture. Um, uh, one and so I've started marking it up a little bit here. What does that mean? So here they had some text. This is the text they proposed, and everybody can see this. Yeah, everybody can see my stuff. My my windows aren't blocking you. Yep, I can see it. Okay. So uh, now this will work for for pretty much any web document. So it'll work for pretty much any web page. Um, if it's sort of behind a firewall that has specific uh, security things, it it might not. But for most of the stuff that we'll work with our scalar site, um, uh, um, various things. Now you, you probably have to be logged into scalar to, you know, to, to, to get access to it because we don't currently have it. I don't think we currently have it set to publicly facing, um, but you could do this with a Wikipedia page. You could do this with our CSUCI, uh, you know, landing page, whatever, or you can do it with PDFs. So you could, you could um, upload a P open a PDF in a browser and then do this, for example. So um, the idea here is to not be tied to some um, proprietary software. I mean, this thing is proprietary, but, but the idea is to make it more universal, more like PDFs, how PDFs are, have become sort of a universal uh, a format for sharing stuff. This is the same idea with this for sharing a comments, feedback, et cetera. So you can provide feedback without having to be in um, uh, Google Docs, for example, or, or the the Google environment. Okay, so uh, what I've done here is a couple things. So first, I was over here and I looked at what um, our, our our colleagues made here, and they said algal merit culture has ancient history, right? Like, ooh, I think there's a little problem there. They probably said, they probably want to said has an ancient history, right? So in that case, I I highlighted this text and I gave them some feedback. So I said an. Uh, over here, it says uh, algae has the potential. Uh, yeah, although algae is actually plural, so technically it would be algae have the potential. And so again, I, I've, I've given some feedback here. This other one, I've not given any feedback, I've just highlighted it and it just, hey, this is, this is cool and I wanna, I wanna keep this for my own notes, right? So I, I can do annotations as well as, as well as feedback and stuff. So how do I do that? Well, now I have, I have this log, I have this tool embedded in this browser. In this case, I'm, I'm sh featuring uh, Chrome to you guys, and I've added this extension in Chrome. So now all I need to do is go up and let's say I wanted to say many challenges, okay? I just highlight it and then doing nothing else, these little things pop up. I can either highlight, which is just gonna, you know, um, uh, uh, change the color of it to, to draw my attention to it, or I can annotate. I can annotate for myself, again, just for notes, like this is a great example of blah, 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 blah. Or I can give feedback uh, or, or, or provide annotation maybe to make edits or something. And so I could say, this is a test annotation, boom. And again, I can, I can make this to myself or whoever. For the purposes of our, of, of our Together Notion, we'll just do it post to public just to make sure it's the most, uh, most visible um, and we can uh, make sure that's working. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I'd like you guys to do is take a quick um, five minutes here. I'll pause the recording and just want everybody to go to that, to the Hypothesis website link that I provided in the chat and do me a favor and just sign up for a free account using your CSUCI email address. So it's important to use your CSUCI email address because if we do anything within um, Canvas or, or other stuff, it can be, it can, I can track you guys. If you use some random Google email or uh, just it, it uh, I will lose some of the functionality. So please use your CSUCI email address, sign up. And then I encourage you guys to, if whichever browser you're most interested in, go ahead and, and add the functionality for that browser. So I'll, I'll pause us for about five minutes. Um, if you wanna go ahead and start just, just practicing, seeing if you can annotate a, a website or something, that'd be great. 
but I'll, I'll put us on pause. I'm going to pause our recording and uh, um, we'll come back. Zoom recording. Okay. All right. So the question, so, so uh, one of the things we're going to do this week is we're going to start on our next scalar uh, case study. Um, one and two, we're going to provide feedback to one of our fellow groups, one of our fellow, our groups of fellow students. Okay. So how do we do that? And, and uh, so I have, I have some assignments for you guys, but, but just in general, I'm logged into our uh, scalar site. Okay. And you guys know, all know how to do that. And then the easiest thing is just come up to index. Sorry, let me do it again so you guys get me. So I come over here to the, the uh, hamburger menu on the left and I'm gonna hit index. And then here's our different, here's our different um, pages, right? So uh, let's say we wanna do um, uh, marine and oil, California's marine and coastal oil spills. I'll just hit that, and there we go. Now I'm at the I'm at the landing page for this uh, for this um, one, right? And then if and then I can I can start stepping through the different pages. But this is this is the the top level page. So now if I wanted to give, uh, so if this is my group, this is one of the ones. If this is if I was assigned this, I want to just give some feedback. So you know, hey, you know, so the title looks good. Okay, cool. We can give we, again. You don't have to give just what's wrong. You could say, hey, I liked how you worded this this is cool, whatever, or here's a spelling error, what have you. And so in, th in this case, I would just, uh, you know, go through all their pages, all that group's uh, presentations. And I would, um, you know, highlight uh, this guy here. And I could give him some feedback about, uh, click that. And I'm going to say, uh, this is a test annotation, right? And then again, the key part here is you're going to want to um, uh, post to the public, right? So if I were to click this, and if you look at this, sorry, screens, real estate's a problem here. So I can have it be only me, I can be public. Uh, eventually, we can set up individual groups, but I don't have any those set up right now. So that, that, that does not show up as an option, but you could also possibly have a group. Um, so if you wanted to, to do it as a study team or something like that, you could do this. And again, Hypothesis is available to you guys, not just in this class. This, you can use this in any of your other classes. You can use this for any kind of shared um, feedback on any, any kind of web document for studying, what have you. So if I wanted, if this is just for me studying, maybe I would make it so that only I could see this, right? Then none of you guys would be able to see it, but we do wanna make it public. So just make sure you, it's, it's selected for the option that's public. And then I say, post to public. Cool. And then when um, uh, uh, we start, after a bunch of us have made some comments, when we start to look at this page, you can actually see other people's, um, at least ones that are public, you can see other people's um, feedback and, and comments. Does that make sense? So again, the way you're gonna find which, or navigate to where, which particular page you're gonna be working on is just log into Together in Ocean, as you normally would, or as you have been. And then you're gonna come up here and you're just gonna to go to uh, this hamburger menu and click index. And that's gonna be the easiest way to, to get to the different uh, uh, pages that uh, are the landing pages for the respective, um, respective one. Cool. Okay, so what I've done is, uh, and let me, um, let me share this with you guys to where are we here? Okay. So, um, so I'll, I'll share this with you guys when we're done here. And um, uh, remember, every, all of you have your Together in Ocean folder in the Google Drives, your, your sort of working, working um, uh, your sandbox uh, stuff. And so um, we're gonna go on to our next one, right? We're gonna go on to our next uh, Together in Ocean. So I'd like you guys to create a, a new sandbox for that so you guys can, can start to organize your references in the text. Um, or if you guys are comfortable enough in Scalar, you can actually just start to create it in Scalar directly. But it, it probably makes more sense, again, 
to to just um, also in in your shared web space with your group uh, create your content in that um, in a Google Doc and get it sort of decent before you before you start pasting it in. Um, in any event, here's our groups, and um, what I've done is I've just picked uh, one other group for you guys to provide feedback to. So uh, here is group Apollo, right, right here. So here's group Apollo. Um, they did abalone and algal mariculture in California. Um, this week, so by Friday, I want you guys to provide feedback to the California Peers pages. So go back, hey, this looks, this is a great idea. Ah, this didn't make much sense to me, that kind of stuff. And then I've also assigned you guys the next topic for, um, for your, your draft of stuff. So uh, in this case, Abalone America or Apollo group is gonna be working on whale, whale strikes. Uh, the Boreas is gonna be working on air quality in the coastal zone. CETO is gonna be working on once through uh, power plant cooling. Doris is going to be working on managed retreat. Oh, wait, why are you guys? Something's wrong. Both of you guys have managed retreat. Don't know why that is. Um, have to check that. Um, and then, uh, uh, so, so EOS, I have to figure out what your topic is. Uh, give me a minute while I'll pause this and figure out why that's not pasted in there. And then uh, Glaucus, you guys are going to work on uh, coastal predators. Um, so same idea as before. You guys are going to generate, you know, uh, several pages of text. Um, everybody should take a section or, or a subtopic or what have you and contribute as a group. And then again, work on a, a unified um, voice uh, on that particular coastal management subject. Okay. So, um, so I'd like you guys to have at least the outline up this Friday. I'm not going to, you guys don't have to have it. It's not going to be due this Friday but I'd like to see what progress you've made as of this Friday. So that means since we're gonna be ending shortly in a bit here, you guys have you know, more than an hour to talk right now about how to, how to do that. You have more than an hour to provide feedback to your, your fellow um, colleague on your fellow colleagues pages. And you can uh, get together in your group and you guys can start to figure out um, you know, how, we're gonna, how we're gonna do this or, or what are the, you know, how might we go about uh, organizing this topic? You can organize it exactly the way you did before. You can change it up. You, it's up to you guys as to be the, how you want to be the most effective way of doing that. Okay. Where do we find this uh, Google sheet? Um, so this, this is my master. I'm going to paste it into yours. So you guys all have your Google sheet in your, in your Google drive. So, yeah. um, um, let's see, you guys all have this. You guys all have this. You guys all have this. Each of your groups, so Boreas, Glaucus, etc. right? You guys have this shared folder. And in here, there's this thing that says Tau uh, Together in Ocean Groups. I'll stick it in each of those folders for you guys. So you guys will each have them in your folder. So you guys all have access to these still, all these, um, these shared spaces. Cool. I got a quick question. Yeah. Um, what's with the 5 p.m. due time? Why isn't it 1159? Uh, because I, because I, when I've done 1159, people, cause have problems ah got it yeah so it, it, it was it was an attempt to be easier and and more straightforward for you guys and uh in the past when i've had things due in, in the evening people sometimes get angry that they stay up all evening working on it and so it was sort of a, a mix of things cool yeah it, it, it was it wasn't random it wasn't wasn't some uh <laughs> it wasn't just pulling the uh time out of the out of my hat Okay, cool. So um, uh, what I'd like you guys to do is, is now, um, uh, I have to disappear to deal with the, 
refrigerator stuff um, shortly. But if you guys could uh, take a stab at uh, at uh, working on stuff and and making sure this stuff works, uh, one of our groups has been having a problem with Scalar, so I'm going to go see if I can figure out why they can't get on to Scalar um, before we disappear. And uh, and that's it, right? So also remember that you guys have to um, so you can start filling in your your targets also on our. Um, on our uh, poll survey target uh, distribution stuff. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna mute, but I'm gonna stay on for a bit. And if you guys are stuck, send me a, a thing in the chat. I'm gonna talk to um, to Quinn's group and see if we can figure out why they're uh, they're having some some challenges. And actually, what I'll do is I'll I'll try to set you guys up in your together and ocean groups before I do that, so you guys can have be in your breakout rooms to be talking about stuff. Um, unless I'm curious right now, if you guys, so I think most of you have, have updated to your, the new browser, you guys, I think can also, excuse me, the new zoom, I think you guys can also generate your own zoom rooms right now. Um, so I, I, again, we haven't done this yet since it's a brand new functionality, but it's a great chance to start. So, um, what I'll do is I'll give you guys about five minutes, um, and, if I see that people aren't in the breakout groups, I'll go ahead and generate them all myself in the next, after about five minutes. But if you guys wanna go ahead and do that and see if you can generate your, um, your breakout gr groups, it'll be a great test for us for the future to know if that functionality works for the rest of the semester. Okay, so work on annotation, work on starting to talk to your, your, your buds about your topics and, uh, and I'm gonna um, talk to uh, Quinn and those guys. Awesome.